MP5 Mod 3, also known as the IDW of Heavy Production, is now 5 star upgraded SMG doll that is available in the game. Be careful who you call 5 head in middle school, since MP5 Mod gains a new niche of X in addition to her forehead. While you were busy making useless SMG jokes about Brainlet 9, MP5 was studying the mod. The Unseen Blade is the deadliest. MP5 in this stage can be used in both ARSMG and RFHG teams, or pretty much a hybrid team, which the tiles she has changed at mod 1. How? By boosting additional accuracy from 40% to 45%, her tiles can also cover rifles in your echelon. Now that Paradius is knocking on your door. Commander, it's time for your CBT interrogation again. CBT. 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 You decide to go to her asking for help as one of the best shield SMGs? Pathetic. How does she become one of the back quote best shield SMGs you may ask? MP5's new mod 2 skill, Blurred Trenches, upgrades her into a chat like doll. When her force shield expires, her evasion is temporarily increased by 20%. For 8 seconds for every enemy group that is present. You can also call her a bomb disposal technician. For her skills becoming Dr. Robotnik's mean red bean killing machine. No need to call in the bomb disposal squad, because your girl will easily take on those pesky moving IEDs. Let's fucking go! MP5's personality is an all-going charming small grill. Despite her childish-like appearance, MP5 is pretty strong. Not only that, she has a sweet tooth for chocolate. She likes to drink a lot of milk, in hopes of someday having big bonkers. However, she is pretty much like AR-15 and UMP-45. Flat like a superior German-made wash. <laughs> To make your MP5 even more buffed out than a ride in bodybuilder from the 50s, the 2050s, mind you, go ahead and slap on an AK4 suppressor for the extra crit rate and evasion. I'll hollow point ammo for the extra damage. Her mod spec is actually garbage and useless. <laughs> the stats seem eye catching, but you could have a maximum doubt suppressor on her for that slot. Instead, you will want to farm for her night spec. This slaps an extra plus 30 to evasion, and possibly up to 58 when calibrated and maximum doubt. Although you deal less damage, it's not a bad trade-off, since MP5 is better suited using her newfound power to literally eat the enemy's lead, or space lasers. Even though the kicker of farming it is a bitch, you will thank yourself later for getting a quality equipment that works to her advantage. To set up your red bean killing machine Exodia, you will need MP5, a stun grenadier, and a smoke grenadier. Just as a disclaimer, not all red bean nodes are equal. You may not have the same or similar results for every red bean node. Make sure you know what you're facing. This composition follows red beans that you all will likely bother to fight due to the complexity and requiring the use of your smooth brain. <laughs> The spoon-fed echelon camps won't be provided due to the various amount of echelons you can set up MP5 and don't let her reputation of being the IDW of heavy production stick in your mind. If you want to start tackling on ranking and reach the heights of Adalio, MP5 will be one of your ticket dolls to get better at the game. Go out there and flex off your newest tactical bodybuilder who will lead the path of the red bean killing machine. <laughs>